Okay. Hey guys, so Ron Jeremy and Mia Khalifa are having a pretty good experience while they're enjoying their retirement there. And uh, I'm convinced to finally get on PlayStation because of all this Last of Us stuff. And a, a nine year old girl and her friends raise a hundred thousand dollars for a great cause. And prepare yourself because the floor of lava. Welcome to Talking Through the Media, it's your home for entertainment news and reviews by fans for fans. Remember to like, subscribe, send us those questions and comments because we want to hear them. I'm Amy Newman and joining me today is the captivating Chris Fagan. Oh, only one? I think strong enough yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. One. Is, and of course, and also joining me is the amazing, the enigmatic, the mesmerizing. Wow. Amy Newman. Yeah, see, I have see? been, uh, my quarantine project has been uh, hypnotizing people. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, well, for one thing, uh, while, while we were talking about the quarantine thing, I want to just write off script, say, guys, stay safe, stay indoors. Stay inside. And, Wear a uh, mask. Wear a mask, you know, love your love your friends and your and yourself. Respect them, respect yourself, and try to just try to stay safe out there, guys. Because there it, is there is still a virus. It's there real. Is still a virus. It's not a hoax. No. Nope. People are dying. It may be invisible, but it is real. A lot of things that are invisible can harm you. Okay. I mean, I just I was just sad that we still have to say that though, but but guys, uh, we also want to remind you to, to stay active in the community here. Uh, I want you to just send us topics. You can Three email people. them. Don't come to us. We're in quarantine. <laughs> we're, don't, we don't want it. But you can keep, wear so, a mask. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, wear your, wear, while wearing your mask, get on your computer and send us mm -hmm. topics because we want to talk about them here. Uh, it's it's uh, it's sometimes it's hard for me to try to uh, search through topics that we want to talk about. So if you can just help us out, send us those emails for the things you want to talk about. You can mail us at mail at t3medias.com. Don't forget you can also catch us on this podcast that we have going on here on iTunes and on SoundCloud. Also, that's good for social distancing, so you can you know, stay far away and uh, <laughs> and listen to us talk through the media. And uh, we'll let's get right into what's been trending right now. So, guys, on Twitter, so both the form, the former, that's the folks, the most important thing about this, the former adult entertaining stars, Ron Jeremy and Mia Khalifa. I hope I'm saying her name right. I think I am, as if I don't know, are trending. And it was the weirdest day that I the thing that I noticed. So I, I'm on the phone and I'm like, why? I'm literally said it out loud. I'm like, why is this trending? because you know i know those names and so there was a flood of support for mia khalifa the former adult entertainer who was only in the industry for about three months but has received she's received death threats um just because she's uh, i think she, because she's muslim american i believe and a lot of people in uh in that community were she says are are secretly her biggest fans but are also the ones that would give us uh, her uh, death threats among other people as well. Well, uh, I saw, yeah, I, I, I did have to look her up. That's not me being like, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, one of her first big videos, I guess she was wearing a hijab, which yeah, which caused a huge a lot of people the wrong way. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that that wasn't her idea, and uh, yeah. it was one of the the main reasons why she, I mean, why she got in the industry. She, she, I guess, made a huge impact, and then uh, three months. I saw I, it was it was right out of there. Um, so she's received, like I said, death threats. She's now um, married. She's worried about whether or not she should have uh, children with her husband because she knows that her family is going to be going through this uh, for the rest of their lives. She's been ostracized from her family. Just, just the whole no, it, it, the worst that you can think of. She's probably experienced it or or uh, got, came close to it. And in other news, at the, around the exact same time, coincidentally, the other very famous, uh, been in the, the business, like, I think, but before me and you were even born, <laughs> Ron Jeremy, um, is now come up on charges of sexual harassment and rape charges in California for cases that were brought up, I think, in, uh, was it 2014, if I'm remembering correctly? And I think that it was because of the the laws that recently were updated so you can make 
a, a claim. There's no sexual uh, limitations for these kind of claims now uh, in, in California, and they're trying to change those laws. So, Amy, so a retirement is not easy for a uh, guess for this, this, <laughs> this field. <laughs> so why do you think these things are trending right now? I mean, you know, they're obviously two very different stories very. kind of a, an interesting like two very different sides of a coin uh from what i've seen uh you know again i had to i had to do some googling uh it's not an industry i'm opposed to well there are issues within the industry i'm not trying to be like oh i've never seen it before but i'm not super familiar with mia khalifa but i guess she's been uh really outspoken against the industry which is obviously oh, yeah. just some some negative feedback a lot of people you know i was just reading something discussing and it's so true it's like people going well she did the videos but she's going everybody's judging me these thousands upon millions of people think they know me and know who i am as a person from like the most destructive most toxic decisions i made when i was 21. right and it's like, imagine if someone judged you on your worst three months of being a 20 something. Oh yeah. You don't want that vault to open up in my life. No, <laughs> no way. So, uh, you're, but you're right. I mean, and I'm going to be, I, I did before, uh, she, before her retirement. Uh, I've, I, I, I do know the name. I am familiar. Okay. I'm a guy. Okay. I saw it, yeah. but and no judgment for that. But I, I think it's important that we talk about that stuff that it's like, this industry is going to exist. Oh yeah. There's obviously a call for it. There's obviously oh, yeah. a desire for it. There's obviously people who are comfortable working in this industry and mm -hmm. more power to them. But I think it's so important that people are speaking up and saying, I didn't have a good experience. I wasn't a lot of her thing. Is, she was, I, uh, her financially, she was financially cheated. I, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I saw she made like, twelve thousand dollars and she was one of the top stars in the brief time she was working but the amount of views and the amount of traffic three, she months. Got, three months i swear that i i would have swore that she was in there for at least three years of yeah. the, because of the impact that because people are still talking about it today. Yeah. three months it's but, but to step up and say there are flaws in this industry and oh, yeah. I, i'm not saying we should dismantle this industry by any means because that's just not even viable but I, I have a lot of respect for people stepping up because they are also going to get that backlash and they are fighting such an uphill battle, which is such bullshit that it's like, she's a, I believe a sports commentator now, like she has this whole other life and she's a social media presence and people are still for the rest of her life. It's the only thing she'll be, 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 be doing yeah. for this three months. I, I think about uh, this other, um, I don't even, I can't remember her name now. She, she also, uh, Sasha Gray was also oh, yeah, a, yeah. a huge name in that industry there. She was there for a couple of years, but uh, one of the, the biggest ones, but she tried to break into acting. She was on the entourage. She had her own a couple of her own movies. Um, she's not, she's not shy about it. She'll, she'll talk about it and whatnot. And like, she, like, it's funny how, in in that same situation, people will, I, I thought, well, maybe if she does what Sasha Gray uh, does, she like she does these preemptive strikes. She'll she'll come at you as fast as um, online as fast as you uh, you will attack her. But it's different for what Mia is going through because it, they're they're going at her because of her her religion. They're using that against her. People within her religion are also going after her and what it's it's just a it's it's so it's and people that are that don't even know it people in different religion they're, they're, they're using religions almost all religion any religion you can think of they're throwing that at her like why does this young woman have to to uh have that much pressure on her uh on on her shoulders for um like you said a mis like a decision that she made that other people are currently you know doing today yeah. and it's, it's just like they they put so much uh like pressure on on her on so, so many different levels that no one who's probably worked in the industry as long as like what's his name uh, mr jeremy has worked in who yeah. has probably done so uh, well, 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 probably no he's he's already uh, been uh, arrested and he's been accused of doing the worst things uh, that you can do to to people yeah. but but i'm pretty sure there will be like people uh supporting uh you know well, maybe not nowadays, but uh, uh, faster than um, than they would support um, 
for Amia. But I did notice, and the reason why I think it was trending was because there there are actually a group of people who are like, and it's usually it's mostly the younger younger generation. They're like, look, this is just this is what she did for three months out of her life. And she's not even she's probably not even that person anymore. She's nowhere near it. And people are just making a mountain out of a molehill and 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 making these ridiculous threats that are very scary for uh, a, a young woman uh, to to go through. And it's just it's it's so it's it's good that that people are willing to to stand up for uh, for people nowadays for yeah. doing something that we we all we, maybe we don't do it professional to do it on on video and things like that. But this isn't these are an, our actions that every human being <laughs> pretty much does the only reason why any human being exists is because some other human beings you know you know, did some things i was so, made in the lab but <laughs> yeah i get where you're going with this right, right. um no yeah but 100 percent. and again it's like <laughs> porn is like the reason the internet exists yeah. essentially like it it's this huge industry so many people watch it. So many people consume it. So many people are fascinated by it that even if you don't watch porn, there's a degree of like, ooh, she was a porn star. And it's like, get over it. She yeah. did it. She was good at it. She didn't make enough money, but she was hugely popular. Exactly. So let's start talking about how she was underpaid and how she was mistreated and how, you know, she had to deal with death threats and all this bullshit and start figuring out how to how to fix these holes in an industry that obviously isn't going anywhere. Yeah. People, people are as like, yeah, you're right. People are quicker to go. Oh my God, it's so taboo. She was doing uh, adult films. Meanwhile, ooh, these bankers destroyed the economy, and and millions of people lost their homes and lives, and 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 things yeah. like that. And like, that's like, ah, oh, that's no. just. Like, like, that's I don't care what you consenting adults do. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm. <laughs> upset about the ron jeremy story i yeah. you know, say more that's the, that, yeah that's the story it's funny yeah. it, it's fun and i'm wondering if because of what was going on with ron jeremy that's when people started to to uh to try to throw more shade and attack on on me if we're just mm. just I, that's my maybe that's my conspiracy theory come but i was i was also surprised to see there was a huge amount of of support coming her way yeah. more than there ever was before so it's uh it seems like nowadays people just they're just tired of it the trolls and the things like that people are starting to get tired of it so God that's, willing. Uh, that's that's uh let's let's hope she uh gets through this <laughs> kindness trending show yeah let's yeah let's get that trend like that's, that's our anti-bullying campaign we're gonna go out with why you save us from kindness from... <laughs> trending when we let's, can let's get that trend <laughs> we'll, we'll elementary schools will be lovely Exactly. All right. So what else is trending out there? Uh, we got from CNET. The Last of Us Part Two was released June 19th, and its director, Neil Druckmann, said he expected the game to divide gamers. He's prepared for some fans to hate it, but according to Forbes, the game has opened with record sales. So, Chris, Last of Us Two. Let's talk. I know nothing about this game. I am a, this game is exclusively on the PlayStation. I have not owned a PlayStation in many, many years. I am an Xbox guy, but for the what past three years. my boyfriend because I know he could talk about Oh yeah, we, uh, we need to, we need to talk. Does he own this game? Does he, did he I ever play? I believe he's currently played the first one? playing through the first one. Okay. He doesn't have the second one yet, but I, 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 been around. I've done the girlfriend <laughs> walk through. What are you doing? What are you doing? It looks fun. <laughs> he's like he's like in his own uh, Last of Us. Don't 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 don't, don't take uh, it. It looks amazing though. Like it looks tense oh, yeah. and interesting and dramatic. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not personally a fan. I'm this I'm, I'm, I'm going to join him. I I will be there. I'm now convinced to I am going to get yeah. this game. Yeah. Um, from what I can tell, the the cutscenes, like you said, the the cinematography of it, if that's even. A thing in video games. It's it's yeah, amazing. Really the, the right. I I am fascinated with this with this whole storyline. When I found out what the game was about, I was like, I got to get this game. And now that part two, I've heard some things here and there, and uh, I was able to watch a a scene, a little risque scene, like I guess on the theme of of uh, adult you know adult uh, content. Um, and I was like, whoa, have we have we gotten? Here uh, at video games, because you know, I'm I'm expecting. I see two characters; they're kissing. 
the top comes off and I'm like, there's no way that that camera is going to pan. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it did. It panned down. And uh, I'm not saying that's the main reason why I'm going to play the game, but it didn't hurt. Little pixel titties. <laughs> little, 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 little pixelating uh, scene right there. So I, I see to me to bring video games to the next level, it then has to transition from cut screen mm -hmm. or like cut scene to like playable game. So you're just like, <laughs> sitting there like, oh, um, you have to you have to move them. <laughs> there are video games like that. I'm I, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure there are definitely oh, video sorry, games like that. Uh, uh, like like uh, like get through this uh, get through this booty call uh, now. Like oh my god! I just have to imagine someone with like the Wii remote, like holding it, like. <laughs> <laughs> just oh okay, you're gonna get me in trouble doing the the, the motions though, but. People uh, can gift this. <laughs> that, yeah, okay. Million, million dollar idea, Nintendo. Get on that. The, <laughs> the I don't even know what to call that that controller. The well, it's a joystick. Duh. Duh. It's already named. But yeah, I'm I'm now. Call it the joystick. The the uh the the over joystick, I guess. I don't know the the overloader. But the <laughs> I'm I'm ready now. That's I, how all of us got here, Chris. To yeah. Do Sure. Okay. Exactly. Except that for me, he was created in a lab. All right, but I I'm ready to play this game. So tell tell your boyfriend I'm I'm now going to join the PlayStation Nation, and I'm going to play this game. Even though Xbox you know rules all and PlayStation sucks, I'm still. I still play Nintendo 64, and that shit is good. My son wants he to talk to you. Then kids too for the Nintendo. But, wait, the Nintendo 64? Hell yeah! That's what you're still rocking. I don't know if it still works, actually. That's like the last game. The, I feel like the last video game I was like hyped about was uh, Super Mario 64. It's like Mario 64 where the, where the hat would disappear. All the They were trying to work out the... Uh, the You'd like jump into the painting? No, yeah. Sorry. You're on a GameCube. I'm oh, hip. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have a Dreamcast, so yeah, I know what you mean. And a Sega CD. I used to have... I had a... Super Nintendo? Oh, yeah. They were all my brothers. I have oh, a little yeah. sister syndrome of like I watched someone play all of these. That's, <laughs> not, do it. that's not wait, no, that's not what we're doing now in 2020. Girl gamers are now 50% of the community now. My daughter will punch her brothers in the face if he doesn't hand that control over yeah, nowadays. Yeah. That's what's going down. Now it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Street Fighter, get out of the way, CJ. She just comes out of nowhere. Bam! I'm playing now. Like but no, yeah, girls, girls are kicking butt now. But let, guys, let us know what you think about uh, the last. I want to hear more about. Talk me into this game I, before I get it. Why should I get this game? Because everybody's been talking about it. And from what I'm hearing, it sounds amazing. So I, I'm ready to join the, the PlayStation Nation for for this game because it looks amazing. And I'm hoping that a, a TV show and a movie because this story is fascinating. I can't wait to uh, to check that out. So let us know what you guys think about that, and we might talk about it on We Got Your uh, Your Mail. So. What else is trending out there, Miss Newman? All right. Well, now it's time for our feel good story Ooh. alert. I feel like we need like a feel good story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Everything oh. Bad, but some kids did some cute stuff. So, fueled by boredom, aren't we all? And an itch for something new. Nine year old Cameron Johnson and five of her friends who live in Chanhassen decided to open a stand selling friendship bracelets. They named it Cameron and Friends Bracelets for Unity and Justice since setting up the stand on May 30th. These awesome kids have raised more than $100,000. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. We, we know why That's this is trending. Trending. That, This is why. This is, well, this is something story. that we need. <laughs> no, okay, but, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that jingle. So go for it. Feel good story, just hang in there. Everything's sad, but the kids made bracelets. All right, all right. We'll we'll work on it. Okay, so <laughs> I I love I love this whole thing. This the, I saw I saw those kids on the uh, on on video and on uh, on CNN.com, and I'm like, yeah, I, I need this in my life right now. With everything going on, um, the fact that these kids are are raising they her. I, I believe that her, the daughter said that her goal was like, maybe what, to raise like 50 bucks? <laughs> then she went viral. Well, it wasn't a lot of it. I, I looked it up and I believe a lot of that money, they're, they're specifically like, we want to help black owned businesses in our areas, who mm -hmm. in our area that have been affected, which is mm -hmm. 
such a cool and mature and like just so beyond what I would have even I would have been like I'll buy a pony yeah <laughs> I'll send the pony to the third world like they're so responsible and community driven and it's just like oh children are the future they're man. like do yeah they're, they're donating yeah, to charities that's amazing and it's it's so funny how like like I said, their their goal was like a very small uh, dollar amount, and now it's like, nope. Now you own a an enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to <Yeah. laughs> welcome my to the lemonade forest. stand. No one was buying my lemonade. It wasn't very good, but mm -mm. oh, good music, another sad story. Oh, yeah. The the lemonade was sour. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Good for those kids. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Keep that. Yeah, so guys, I'll, and I'll I'll put the details uh, below. So if you guys want to um, support them and and check those guys out, do it, do it, do it, and uh, and buy or get a bracelet and uh, have fun with it. Okay, so now let's move on to what else is trending. So I came across this by accident, a, a new show on Netflix. That oh, is so boring, but I cannot stop watching. What's it. wrong with you? It is awesome. I it. Just watching it a few minutes ago. Yes, guys, you know what I'm talking about. The number one thing in the universe. I mean, yeah, come on. The floor is lava. It's yes. wipeout, but less good. And wipeout's not good. No, 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 it's not. No, it's a throwback to old school Nickelodeon. Uh, but again, yeah, not good. Like, I was just watching it, like, literally three minutes in. I was just like, I bet I could find some old Legends of the Hidden Temple on YouTube. That's all I wanted. Legends of the Hidden Temple. That's exactly what this feels like. And so it had a big talking rock and temple guards that scarred the kids I from can life. I cannot believe we're, we're at we're, this. This feels like a CNN debate. Like we're on two sides of this because because this is what happened. I just by coincidence, I, I bumped into this this show because it was just in the uh, feed when my kids were trying to find something to watch on the uh, kids version of Netflix. And I'm like, the floor is lava. Okay. And I'm watching this. I'm like, somebody. Oh my God. Somebody did it. Somebody made a show of the oldest, one of the oldest kid games in, in the world, and they've actually funded this. Why am I watching this? Oh, yeah, because it's awesome. <laughs> and then I reach out to you, and you're like, 10 minutes. I was, how many episodes did you get through? Like, oh, I got five, maybe 10 minutes in. I couldn't get past the first group that played. It was so good, <laughs> and they were trying to like, sports commentate, like, who's jumping from the Easter Island head? Watch out for the lava. I'm like, it's red water. I'm not dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. God, no. Do not listen to Cut her mic. This is why this show was awesome, because this water is, pro is like, it's Kool-Aid that they're jumping into, right? But they're, it's probably like three feet, if that. But when you fall in, you obviously the producers are like, if you fall in, sink all the way to the bottom because we want to give the effect. Every person that falls in the water, they're all like, ah, ah, I'm burning to death. I'm like, you, you just saw Star Wars, right? You saw what happened, to Anakin. Everybody's recreating this, this, this moment, and it's on the kids' version of my my son was like, oh, is that real lava? Are they burning up? Like, yes, son, they're gone. <laughs> Because they didn't eat their vegetables. <laughs> you see that guy? <laughs> he had delusions of grandeur, thought he could make that damn jump. Look at him now. Look at him <laughs> burnt up and stupid. <laughs> it was amazing. But it's the, it, you're right. It's boring. It's, so, it's, the, it's all the same thing. But I, I don't know why I'm watching every episode. And I'm loving it. Go <laughs> YouTube Legends of the Hidden Temple. Y'all save your time. Oh, guys, go let us know what you guys think about The Floor is Lava. Tell us why it's awesome. Tell us why it's horrible. And we'll probably, we're, I want this to be the number one trending topic to next time we do a, uh, a We Got Your Mail. <laughs> just to make Amy just upset. I just want to get someone who is on The Floor is Lava on, on here. I want to ask them. You, oh, I, yeah, anybody who's been on the show, definitely. We Please need to reach get you out. On the show. Oh, um, so, well, before we get move off from this one, you only watched 10 minutes of it. So you don't yeah. know what the prize is, do you? No, what's the prize? $10,000. If you, if you, if you score uh, higher than any of the other team, your team $10, gets $10,000. 10, 
Yep. And and a lava lamp. I mean, I'm gonna check how it can be on this damn show now. <laughs> Ten G's that you have to split with two other people. Oh, uh, now screw that. <laughs> and uh, and <laughs> a lava lamp. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking if you gotta you, like you gotta you gotta like work out of a, a system with the lava lamp. Yeah, I no. Here's what happens. I think the person who makes it to the end gets the money, and the people who fell into the lava gets the lava lamp. That's how we work that out. That's just me. I mean, it's just logic. But <laughs> let us know what you guys think about the floor is lava. And uh, if you've been on that show, call us now because uh, Amy wants to interview you. She's like, "What were you thinking?" <laughs> it's fun. It's Who's fun. the lava lamp? That's what I want to know. I think I think it was more dangerous when we, you know when I did it as a child when uh, we put the pillows on the floor and stuff. We made those obstacles oh, really man. badass. This is a tangent, but I once tried to recreate a Nick game show. It was mm -hmm. guts. And I, <laughs> I just, because of course it was. And I tried to jump from the couch to the table. I like pushed him together. And I tried to like, like jump back and forth really fast. And of course, immediately my foot slipped and I cracked my yep. face into the table. Oh. And I just remember like crying and moving the table back. So when my parents came in, they wouldn't realize I am done. I was like, okay, that looks good. Mom! <laughs> Like what happened? I don't know. Like you didn't want to tell her exactly. No, out of nowhere, just sitting quietly reading my book. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I was attacked by terror. I don't know something. Oh well, sorry that sorry that you yeah. didn't win your your own home game. At and I never had a lava lamp, so. Oh well, well maybe you could you know redeem yourself on the floor is lava. Let us know, guys. <laughs> Should she go? Should she do it? Do it. Do all right. Maybe you won't, but that'd be pretty badass. I'm not agile. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the worst team leader. Amy, sacrifice yourself so I can get across. Let's <laughs> yeah, be like lying across two things and can like run on my back. <laughs> like, like stop flinching. <laughs> you just look down, I'd be like floating with like a margarita in the lava. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm on island time, baby. <laughs> That would be funny as hell. Okay, guys, have you been watching this show on, on Netflix? Let us know what you guys think about it. Tell us why you think it's awesome. Tell us why you think it's it's horrible. Whatever you want to do, I don't know, we'll just talk about it uh, on, on We Got Your Mail. Uh, is that the last one? No, I think I don't know we got one more trending topic to talk about here. Or two more, I think. Okay, so last but not least, uh, okay, so I just wanted to point out a, a trending rumor about Michael Keaton is in talks to maybe possibly kind of reprise his role as Batman. That's what everybody's been going nuts about this whole week on in the upcoming Flash movie. And we talked about this a little bit with not this one thing, but Flash. We talked about Ezra Miller, how how he isn't getting fired after his little scandal. But right, right, so right. and now and I think now we figured out why, because Michael Keaton, we're trying to get Michael Keaton right now. That's just a rumor. Guy. Uh, but. <laughs> Michael Keaton is in early talks to possibly, now don't say that this is Chris saying that this is a definite thing, Batman's back. No, Michael Keaton may be coming back to reprise his role as like an older version of uh, Bruce Wayne in the Flash movie. Um, and also around the same exact time, on the same day, uh, no less, it was also, um, it also came out in the news that, was it Joel Schumacher? Schumacher? Am I saying his name right? Uh, the director of the least liked Batman movies in the ori original four uh, franchise, the uh, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin movies, has he passed away uh, uh, on the exact same day. So two two stories about uh, Batman. I thought it was a pretty uh, weird coincidence that on the same day that it was announced that this 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 uh, uh, this huge uh, star in in Hollywood, this huge director in Hollywood, who's who who brought us these Batman movies passed away in a time that Michael Keaton is thinking of reprising the role of Batman. So I just thought, I just thought it was weird. So I just thought I'd bring it up uh, real quick. No, no real breaking news. Everybody, I mean, this has already been out for a couple of days, but I just thought that was weird that, um, do you, do you know about, did you watch the original Batman movies from the nineties? I've seen one Batman movie. 
Which one? The Lego one. We are no longer friends. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. It'll go on my quarantine. Well, that, that that Batman is more based on Michael Keaton's Batman than any other of the other versions. But um, the it was so Tim Burton did the Batman and then he did Batman Returns. Right. And they wanted him to do the third one, which he was going to. Um, but they but Warner Brothers wanted to take it into a whole new direction and make it more cartoony for to you know to sell stuff for the kids. I mean, marketing wise, it was genius. I mean, I was a teenager at the time. And not knowing any better, I'm like, these movies are great. But when I became an adult, I'm like, those last two movies were horrible. And Joe Schumacher was the one who was blamed for it. You almost destroyed Batman. The franchise sucked after after those last two that you did. The first two were better, and because they they were the first two were dark, and then the last two were like like a I don't know, big commercial, big old commercial, bat nipples. It was a mess. It was a weird thing. Yeah, bat nipples was a thing. <laughs> But, but he, but he's. Uh, that's not the only thing he did with his life. He, he was a huge producer, huge director. But um, it, I just thought it was very weird that on the same day that Michael Keaton might be coming back, Joel you're trying to start a conspiracy. No, I am not. <laughs> no, I saw it. Is, this, no. It is 2020, and you're on the internet in 2020. And if I've learned anything, if, you can kind of just say whatever the hell you want, right. and if you say it loud enough, people will just go. I guess this person knows something. Right. No, like like he didn't like if you just yell about how coronavirus isn't real. Maybe right. it's then, not. It right. is. But yeah. say it louder. Maybe yeah, you, it's you, connected. You well, it's something. 2020. It's you a fucking free for all. Do <laughs> we have another feel good story? I've made myself upset. <laughs> I apologize and I, I humble myself before you and beg your forgiveness. No, no conspiracy theory. That, I, I, you know what? Let me just dig myself out of this. You're right. Let's, guys, if you want to talk you about what. Just, you just kept going, I just think it's. I just think it's yeah. funny. Don't you think <laughs> that, that uh, a, a franchise that you saw. Them, you just have like a board with red string connecting everything. I just, I just find it interesting. I just thought it was weird. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing. But if Bill Gates, <laughs> no, Chris. I won't do it. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to get my computer shut down. <laughs> All right, I think we got one. Uh, I had to sneak at the last minute that this last uh, trending topic. If you oh, don't mind. yes, this is very <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> this is not a feel good story. Okay, so yeah. according to DreadCentral.com. Uh, drive-in style haunted houses are a huge hit in Japan. I have heard some discussion about if these can make the, uh, the, the, the move to the U.S. So basically you drive your car and through a haunted house. It yeah, it yeah. Like it should be. Is, is it a, is it a drive through? Like, do you drive through like an open or garage do you or do you park? I, I'm thinking, you you know, it, it should be both. I think it might be both. I may, maybe, maybe you'll, maybe some places will have a drive to like a car wash thing. Uh, I would be like, terrified of getting hit. Like, cause I know a ton of people who've worked in, you know, like not scary farm and whatever. And they get punched so much. Like I do not trust a person in a car getting scared to not just be like, <laughs> you're, so you're right. So it's probably safer to keep it, keep it. Gotta be. I feel part. like having a car around me should make it less scary. It's no. so much worse, and I don't know why. It's it's you're you're living that nightmare like on the the Walking Dead TV show when they make yeah. a wrong turn and then the herd comes and and the car stalls and you're like you, all you're hearing is that <laughs> and the engine won't kick and then the, <laughs> and you're just alerting more zombies. So people are like in makeup and they're just hitting the glass and they're pressing up Apparently you turn your radio to a certain channel and that adds to the emergency which is really? like oh. brilliant and makes me want to pee when I think about it how do you not honk the horn <laughs> I get it off I'd, I'd be hitting the windshield <laughs> stop it stop it and they're all like Ugh. I'd be like I can't handle this and just put on some like Tom Petty like <laughs> it, it reminds me this this reminds me of this old movie i think it was a creep show or, or i think it was one of the creep show movies where um you were getting all these uh random like no well, not random there were like a series of uh scary stories all packed mm -hmm. up into this one movie and one of the stories in there was a, about a woman who was driving home i think she was drunk and she hit a homeless guy 
and she just she hit him and just drove off and the whole time that she was driving home I mean, you know how when you have an emotional situation happen when you, if, you're, if you're drunk or tipsy like she's now alert like wide awake i think now but uh so she's like totally focused and driving home crying oh my god oh my god and then she keeps seeing the guy in the road over and over again heading home and there's a sign that says thanks for the ride lady <laughs> and it's like as, as the whole time as she's trying to get home she keeps seeing this guy that she just killed and he's looking worse and worse and worse thanks for the ride lady oh my god it, it, this is what this brings up so i'm gonna need you to watch that movie <laughs> this and do a review maybe creep show we're not quite sure i'll start looking chris <laughs> creep show i think it's creep show too definitely okay. not okay but no that that was it was horrifying but uh let us know what you guys think would you guys go to a haunted drive through is that is that what's what's hood <laughs> maybe this year because i know one thing people are really bummed about is like if we don't have a vaccine or a, you know things aren't calmed down by halloween mm. it's a real bummer if you're a halloween person and you like your haunted houses we we need this by that's it's brilliant i could i can imagine somebody doing that at their at their house like uh, inviting their friends like doing make, making a schedule so scared, like they deck out their garage it's and they get their friends to have to people in cars <laughs> it feels like a fucking hazard to me but what it's a cool idea it's it is maybe maybe one of those um giant you know, sp uh, spaces like we're like not not planes but like big garages like we're mechanics or something yeah. like that maybe maybe something like that like could you imagine an airplane your, hanger <laughs> yeah an airplane hanger or something they just deck it out and make it all scary uh, i would like to pitch an idea um those big inflatable balls well i like where this is going you go through the haunted house in that. That's it. That's the plan. Oh, bubble like want to be one of those bubble. You just like ones. roll your way through like a hamster, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I, let's imagine it's a force field and stuff. You're all protected. I would like, actually, yeah, it'd make me feel better. Have people like, like I have a love hate it. relationship with scary things. Oh well, let, guys, let us know. Would you would you uh, partake in one of these things? If these is that the, is that going to be one of the the newest? hottest things that's gonna gonna hit us i think japan will will do the the testing of it and then yeah. eventually it'll it'll cross over it might be it might become a big thing here it sounds interesting i'm i'd probably do it i mean what's i mean it's, i think car washes are just as scary i mean those freak me out <laughs> but let well, us know I what you guys have enough time to unpack that so i'm just gonna throw that whole suitcase out horrifying when that spinning blade comes to the screen i'm like it's gonna Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. But let us know what you guys think about, about that idea. And uh, we'll probably talk about it on We Got Your Mail. And speaking of We Got Your Mail, every uh, on the show, we always try to save one uh, We Got Your Mail question here on the show. And so if you don't know, let me tell you about it. So whenever you uh, comment to us at T3 Medias on social media, we will talk about it right here on We Got Your Mail. So if you have a question, a comment, you just want to yell at us like a lot of people have been doing, you know, I today. <laughs> I love to yell. Maybe, maybe we, we will respond right here on We Got Your Mail. We do it on Saturdays at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, but we always save one for the show. So, Amy, do we have, what do we have for um, uh, We Got Your Mail right now? Boy, do we have a treat today from the T3 Media's Twitter account. Uh, Megan Fox and the movie Jennifer's Body have been trending a lot recently, so... We went ahead and asked the fans the following question. Is Jennifer's Body officially a cult classic? Well, the votes are in and uh, pretty pretty unanimously, not quite unanimously, because I know what that word means, but 94% of people <laughs> unanimously, but not at all, 94% of people said yes. 6% of people said no. Yeah, 94% 94 were, were unanimous. Unanimous. And that, and that, yes. <laughs> it's almost like the dentist. One out of five dentists they thought this toothbrush. 94% of the time, it works every time. Every time. What, did, have you ever seen Jennifer's body? No, because it came out. I was like, that looks scary because I was pretty young when it came out. Now, so I don't think I was allowed to see it. But I have heard. And I, it is on my to watch list because it's absolutely something I wrote off 
And I've seen a lot of really interesting, like, feminist think pieces breaking down how much this yes. movie got really brushed aside because i also just assumed like oh this looks dumb and campy and sexualized and, like, and, and it is and that's what makes it awesome but yeah not in a good way and I, I the more i hear about it the more it's like no it does all that but it does all that in a surprisingly smart way yeah also like i'm team megan fox like she got so boned in her career i think she got a a, a, a bad deal she tried to speak out against you know people being you know directors being shitty yeah. And I, I believe if she had a career now in the, you know, era of the Me Too movement and us learning to listen, you know, to people a bit more when they come out with those kinds of accusations. Right. We're a lot better about listening, but unfortunately, yeah, she I'm, got it. I'm ready. You're, I'm ready for, for the world to give her a second chance. Was she, the, was she the strongest actress or best actress in the world? No. And... Isn't and it, she, actor, but, though? She, but, but from... If Jennifer's body was the only thing that I saw uh, of her career, I would say, why isn't this this person working like almost every other movie that's coming up? Because yeah. when I first saw that movie, at the time I was like, this is the best work that she's done. But she was in the middle of being you know, typecast and you know, all, all the directors are probably wanting to work with her for the wrong reasons and things like that. She was right in the middle of all these things. But you're you're right. It was a lot of I saw a lot of feminist comments about about what what this movie uh, really did and how ahead of its time it really was. If this movie were to come out today, it would probably be the. No and I thought about it. I'm like, because I remember seeing it a couple of times, and I remember kind of feeling that way when it came out. But I was like, it's just a, I just thought it was a okay movie, a good movie. But then when I thought about it, I'm I'm, I'm looking at old clips of her and um, I forgot the other actress that that was in it. It was. Um, who was also who was in Mean Girls? I, I forgot. Is that Amanda Seyfried in that? I I I would be lying if I tell you. I, she's the blonde. I think she played the the the, the girl who could predict the weather in yeah, Mean Girls. Yeah, that's Amanda Seyfried. And I I remember loving that movie more for her than Megan mm -hmm. Fox. But I'm looking at old clips of the conversation. I think I tweeted it out. Um, I said uh, I said that that conversation about. Uh, oh, I, I won't spoil it. But it was a, a conversation where they were kind of arguing with each other. Um, about you know her turning into this bad person and things like that, but the the conversation I said, this is the type of conversation that, that Mean Girls have with each other right now on social media. It was that that the, it was the the whole concept of the movie. It was like way ahead of its time. The whole yeah. all the dialogue was just what we say to each other. The meanest things that people say and do to each other online was almost that whole movie, and it was it was brilliant. And I feel like yes cult classic whatever that means we need to do a video explaining what a cult classic is um but i agree yes and if i convince you to watch anything you know if you've, you've got to suffer through another horror movie i'm only suggesting like the worst horrible horror movies i can find for you but jennifer's body should be on your list it it was a great movie i i love it i'm a part of that 94 i'm a part of that unanimous 94 <laughs> percent <laughs> Uh, of that, but um, you, I think you'll like it. You would, yeah. No, it movie. absolutely sounds up my own. It and feels I'm like glad, um, I'm glad it's getting a second look, and I'm justice for Megan Fox. Let's put her in something, and that should be hashtag justice for Megan Fox. It should be. A, should there be a Jennifer? I think this is like the second time me and you have talked about. I suggested Megan Fox for another uh, that that comic book. I think that I said I like. I know mm. it's too late for that, but um, she would have been perfect for, for that book. Anyway, I, I mean, let me stop bringing up <laughs> the, the past. Guys, let us know what, what you guys think. Are you a part of the unanimous 94% that believes that uh, that this is a, a cult classic? And I think I, think I will do... Um, a, a definition of that of cult classic because uh, a lot of people don't know what that that uh, is. I'm, I'm I feel like it's one of those things that gets thrown around, and it's a bit of a if you call a movie a cult classic, it's like oh, I get the idea of what that means, but I mm. couldn't. If someone said, "What is that?" I'd be like, it's, "What?" We should probably run through like what what a lot of people's many different definitions yeah. of a cult classic would. People would unanimously be. agree. Yeah, ninety four percent of people are unanimous. <laughs> Six people are like, "That's not a fucking cult classic." <laughs> but I'm, yeah, I, I recommend watching that movie. So, guys, uh, with that all out the way, I want to just let me just um, close the damn show, Chris. If I can get my 
<laughs> might well, have, might so i want to thank you guys <laughs> for watching thank you guys for supporting the channel i want you to guys become a subscriber guys the, the channel is growing more and more every day and uh just hit us up on twitter facebook TikTok, instagram and send us those questions send us those topics to to us at uh, on email mail at t3medias.com i am your host chris fagan you can always find me at Chris Fagan, 1980, or at, at T3 Media, like I said before, I want to thank the the amazing, enigmatic, the 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 mystery wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in awesomeness. Amy, where can people find you online? I'm at amy.n.newman on Instagram, amy underscore n underscore Newman on Twitter. Bug me, I got nothing better to do. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Chris, and thanks for watching. Please. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. And thank when, you I, was, 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 when I did that, was that too much? <laughs> did I violate? You know, stuff like that. Oh, right. I don't think that's ever happened to me. I don't think Good. any guy that yeah. I've been with have, has ever recapped. They'd be like, "Wow, that was amazing," <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs>